Hey, what's up? Before we get into this video about horrible drivers, I just wanted to let you know that new merch has dropped. That's right, there is now a t-shirt. A 32-bit Fluffy Talks t-shirt. It's a little pixel me. Very stylishly placed in the top left corner. This shirt is right now on a discount price, and it will be at that price until November 1st, so grab them now while you can. Grabbing some merch is a great way to support me on the next level. The direct link to my merch site is in the description of this video. And as always, I appreciate you being here. Let's get into the video. Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing the You're Bad at Driving video where we look at people who have no business being in a vehicle. Just don't drive if you're these people. Some people just shouldn't drive. So, you know, don't. This is You're Bad at Driving or I might change the title to World's Worst Drivers. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? First, we'll start with this beautiful parking job. Oh shit, you couldn't wait two seconds, huh? It was gonna be a beautiful parking job, but you couldn't let this person readjust? I hate people who are this impatient. You literally just couldn't wait for this person to back up one more time. You had to run their friggin' car over, and then you just drove away. You just drove away like a little bastard. Like, oh shoot. I don't want to have to face the consequences of my actions, you little shit. I know you're just a little shit in a big truck. Here's a guy doing a drunk driving prank. Wow. Hey, buddy. Yes, sir. Come on, let's crack one together. Woo! Is it your wish to make trouble? No, 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 no. Seems like it is. That new Tesla cup, I think it's pretty sweet, huh? It's nothing to do with you drinking and driving. I'm gonna pop a mat real quick. Turn the truck off, please. Why would you do that? Do you know Balin Levine? Yeah. He told me to quit vaping, so I picked up a new hobby. Uh, registration, please. He told me to just pick up, you know. What are you doing? Uh, Pour I it out. Wow, that was hilarious, because, you know, the one thing you should always do is piss off the police. Never piss off the police. Drinking and driving is not something police think is funny. He was clearly already engaged in pulling someone over, and then you went by like, hey, I'm just gonna be a complete asshole right now. Some people think just being an asshole to someone is a prank. That's not a prank. You're just being an asshole. You're breaking the law and being an asshole. That's what your prank is. This guy's gonna get pulled out of the car, get beaten, and handcuffed, and he's gonna be like, police brutality, I did nothing to deserve it. Man, I wish this cop would start punching you. Cardi B owns five supercars but doesn't know how to drive. She also has several platinum rap songs but doesn't know how to rap. Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to touch on that. Well, of course, she only buys nice cars so that she can sit on top of them and take pictures for her Instagram. It'd probably be cheaper if you just rented them. Imagine her at a car dealership and they're like, oh, shoot, it's Cardi B. Like, oh, do you want to take one of these cars for a test drive? She's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to be driving the car, but I'll take five. And the dealership guy's gonna walk away just like, fuck, man. Rich people are so weird. This is what happens when you have so much money you don't know what to do with it. Instead of learning how to drive, you just buy cars and get someone else to drive them for you. Update. I'm in Lionsgate. Broken clavicle, scapula, and eight ribs. Punctured lung, but happy to be alive. Fucking mad. This hit me from behind going 80 kilometers an hour. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. When you packed that on your truck, were you not thinking about the safety of other people? You weren't thinking like, hey, if someone's walking on the side of the road, I'll probably decapitate them. You didn't see the biker coming up? You were just like, well, they'll probably get out of the way. You, I yelled duck out the window. Wasn't my fault. God, man, this is not how you pack shit on a truck. I'm sorry, but you gotta rent a truck or some shit. You don't have a truck big enough to be hauling a load like this. Oh, someone really needed to get to the LCBO. Wow, wow, perfect parking job. Well, I hope everyone involved was okay, and, uh, you know, seemed like she really needed a drink that day, so I hope she got her drink at least. Seemed like she might have already had a few drinks before she went to the LCBO. This one was just titled, You Shoulda Looked Left. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> well, now you have one of those nice concrete cars from the Flintstones. Um, what I'm wondering about this one, though, is why did it take this person so long to back away from the cement pouring on top of their car? You'd think that would be your first reaction would be like, holy shit, back away from the cement pouring on top of my car, encasing me in a tomb of my own stupidity. This person probably learned a very valuable lesson about looking both ways before crossing the street. Make sure you look out for cement trucks the next time you're driving. Here's someone who apparently filled up five gas containers, put them into his Hummer, and then lit a cigarette in the car. And guess what happened? The car, it set on fire. Apparently that person had some injuries too, but uh, they refused to go to the hospital. They were like, no. My skin's supposed to be flaking off my body. Okay, if you're hauling a huge pile of gasoline, don't light a cigarette in your car. This doesn't need to be said. Cigarettes and gasoline, they don't mix. Day one stuff, all right? If you are a smoker, you need to know what things are flammable. If you're gonna be lighting fire around your face, just make sure you have like a list of flammable liquids and gases just on you at all times. Here's a, some sort of Ohio representative, and this guy's in a meeting, and he's pretending that he's in his office, but he's actually driving, which becomes very apparent when you know that. He's either a very paranoid person who strapped himself into his own chair, or he's driving behind a green screen. I'm actually just impressed that he pulled this off. The only little detail you should have done, you should have colored the seatbelt the same color as your shirt or something, or I don't know, put a sash over top of you, maybe like tucked a bib in, like act like you were eating. I don't know. You should have covered up the seatbelt because everyone's just looking at you like, why did this guy strap himself into his office chair? Weird. Apparently the meeting was also about, um, doing harsher penalties on people driving distracted. This guy just does not give a shit, huh? And finally, here's an altercation between two vehicles. Why is he rolling back? Oh shit, he's going to hit me. Yeah, you back up into someone's bike and then somehow it's that guy's problem? I love how he hails the officer too, like, Hey, hey, officer, come over here. Come over here and charge me real quick. I did something wrong, officer. He's got it on video. Like, I just... How are you in a car and you don't realize which way your car is moving? You don't realize that you're moving backwards into someone else. And you thought they were moving forward? How do you... I, how are you in a car and you don't know if you're moving or not? That's the question that needs to be asked here. Don't drive, all right? You shouldn't be driving such a nice, fancy car if you can't even keep it from rolling backwards. Officer, officer, please, come over here and prove prove him right for me. Officer, come over here and see the footage of me fucking up. Please, officer, please come arrest me for being an asshole. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Go get your new Fluffy shirt. Check it out. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Fluffy Talks, and get yourself some new Fluffy merch. Yeah. All right, come up to your screen real quick. <gasps> Boop. Bye. He's just... Jesus, guys. We got a jumper? Someone jump?